Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Frozen Ember. I suppose it's time to get into the game itself, huh? It was a terrible event. The Earth that provided life to us, which we in turn abused, had finally fought back. It froze in the worst ice age known in history. Existing governments struggled to keep civilization and humanity alive. Many lived on insular cities, where... Everything was provided by the government, with little vegetation left in the world be turned to artificially grown food sources. The buildings are modular complexes designed to provide as much living space as possible. We survived, and with the passage of time, this survival tactic became the norm. Then it passed into the way of life for most people. Today, it's simply the basis of our civilization's culture. People are merely just another part of the system. Anyone that doesn't want to be a part of it may lead the cities and risk freezing. Oh, Ember, you are hereby exiled for repeated transgressions against the Elder Council. Ugh, what happened to you? Ugh, it's ugly. Take it away! <sighs> Remember your training. When the temperature drops, keep in motion. Move really keeps your blood circulating, which keeps your body warm. Water should not be drank at freezing temperatures. It should be heated first. No skin should be exposed at any time. Make sure you're in a controlled environment before moving any gear. On the ocean, white ice is a salt water. Blue ice is older and drinkable. Above all, else, remember this. Where there's heat, there's life. Of course, Kona. Jeez, I might be even uglier than she is. That's impressive. Yep, we're going all right. Do they? Better than you. Your whole life's behind you, old woman. Unlike you, I'm no traitor. Don't be foolish. The other counts are equal to Kona. He does not dictate our laws. You'll not be able to return. You will die for your decision. Silence. This arm has no place here. This is all you can discuss. Be silent. Ember, you'll return to these halls. I am determined. Yaro and Niza will return with you. Help each other survive. Help each other prevail. Be safe. It is time to go. Well, now. Of course, going out to a frozen wasteland basically means you're condemned to die. I mean, with no food or anything, how are you going to last out there for very long? I mean, seriously. I'm surprised there's any trees left, considering they mentioned the whole no vegetation thing. Sometime later. It's only again why we went this way. It's our best chance for survival. Remember, it's been days and we're almost out of rations. We'll be fine. We're almost to the oceanic center. It's a joke. It's a little hut buried in the ice. We've never even been there by ground before. How do we know we can even access it? There are fissures in the ice. The Atlantic Ocean is basically a giant glacier. The tonic shift has created caverns in these fissures. The center's there. How do you know? Oh, you have, have you? Okay, so you've been sneaking out then? Yes. And you didn't think to tell us this sooner. I was busy trying to not incriminate myself. Oh, yeah, real funny. We're out in the wasteland where nothing survives. Oh, that's absolutely untrue. The ocean is death. And yet, it's one of the few areas of the world where wildlife can survive mostly unassisted, with the exception of a few species such as turtles, dolphins, and whales. That's what the Oceanic Center is for. Also, of the 32 scavenger tribes, the four that never starve and seem to be the most successful live on the ocean. The Snow Hut tribe, the Ice Harvesters, the Fishers, and the Atlanteans. Because of course one has to be named the Atlanteans! I mean, come on! The ocean is death. How do these four tribes thrive while the land dwellers barely survive? What good does that do us? We don't know how they survive. Why not? 
So we're always told there's no way to survive out here. What's the first rule of survival in the wild? Where there's heat, there's life. How cold are you right now? Freezing my... Actually, not very cold at all. Look down, the ice is melting. Welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Rift. It's the warmest spot in the Atlantic Ocean. The trench that runs the length of the ocean constantly ejects molten magma, heating the water above it. The ocean surface is usually frozen 30 and 40 feet thick. Here the ice is as thin as 10 feet thick during the day, and doesn't get much thicker than 20 feet at night. My question is, how are you still not butt cold if the ice is 20 feet thick during the night and 10 during the day? If we're at the rift, we're within an hour's walk of the Oceanic Center. There are fissures in the ice just north of here. They lead into the ice caverns. Well, I guess they would be icy as well. I, I guess it works. That's where we're going. The ice will also be thin enough there in spots for fishing. So you're just going to cut a hole while you're inside of a cave? Seems dangerous. Oh, I imagine there are. A. Eh? Okay. Well, now that was that was a big leap forward. Ooh, a chest. Another chest. More chests. Question is, how do I get to them? I must have the chests. For chests are power. Chests are life. Hmm. Got that right. Oh, skills, huh? Well, now. Well, we can walk up here. Huh. Let's see. What's in here? Come on. Ooh, some camping gear. That's cool. But I want to check out this place. Ooh, an ice harvester. It tried to get me. They can touch me from down low? That's just cheap. Well, um, sigh, I guess. Huh. Would ice really work on ice driller? Seems a bit weird. Cold hands. Oh, you just got a gun? Yes, I have a gun. The most practical weapon ever made. After all, I don't have to get close to kill things with it. Huh. Gotcha. Pulse, huh? Well, I guess I'll, um, heal her wounds. Ow. Guard, pulse, um... Sadly, I don't think she's gonna get it. Oh, I guess she will get to heal. At least we can use that as much as we want. Oh, good. Um, enhancer on ourselves. I don't think we'll be the target, but why not? Oh, good, finally we got it. So I think we'd never win. Oh, yeah, the A button. Mustn't forget the A button. wonder if I should go kill the rest of those guys. Sometimes, you know, it's worthwhile to just take everything out. And again, from that low stuff. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Well, take you down. And we missed again. Gosh darn it. That's bad. Okay, let's try and, um... Cut you. Um... Guard, I guess. Pulse. Try and provide some healing love. And gosh darn it, those attacks constantly miss. It sucks. I really need those hits. Um, go after that. Pulse on yourself. 
damn it! Like, I can just not get these hits. I really need them. Like, God. Just, just hit the damn thing. I guess it wasn't one of the injured ones. Drat. Little guard. Pulse. I will heal myself somehow, some way. Even if it's gonna take a while. Okay. On the wrong target, but screw it. Some painkillers, huh? Well, at least we reached level two. Oh, we get healed after battle? Well, that's convenient. Well, now... Yeah, now we can maneuver elsewhere. Hmm, some plants. Skill enhancement? What's that do? Ah. Well, I'll up her health, I guess. Since she keeps missing our up her, um, stats there. Okay. Let's see. Force lunge. Well, now let's go with that. Um, power assault. Just, just hit everyone with a chance to stun, right? Ooh, death. Ow. Such tenacity. I must appreciate it. Okay, let's, um, offer some healing support and try and finish that enemy off. All resistant. Nice. Well, Ice Bullet. Yep, just gonna freeze you to death. Well, let's see, what's this? Is this like an entry into the icy caves? I guess so. Warm, huh? <laughs> Too warm, huh? If you're not following the trench that runs through the caves, there's only one way in or out, and that's here. You don't have to backtrack all the way back if you fall in. I love how we just take our coats off and get to keep them off. As soon as we, like, get in the cave. Like, if you come back out, it doesn't, like, stop you. That's bizarre to me. Okay, I think there's more items we can pick up around here. Well, let's see. Huh. Just some regular enemies. A focus? Ah, just some more drugs, huh? Well, maybe we should go fight this guy. Maybe, maybe we can use some more levels. Um, power attack. Ice bullet. Try and go for the- oh, we got stun and dead. Dang. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Well, let's get some cold hands and drop this thing. Yep, I really don't want to go with the ice harvesters for long. Just make it quick, you know? Okay. Well, I guess we couldn't hope to avoid him for forever. Ooh, frozen. I wonder what it tastes like frozen. Probably never gonna know, though. If these things do anything useful, they seem weaker than those first types of enemies we were fighting. Like, way weaker. I'm kind of surprised. Also, why do they have to respawn? Well, whatever. I, I love how we're running circles around each other. Like, we want to make contact, but we're screwing it up. Well, 
try and spread some stun around here. Ah, she's not resistant to everything they do. Pulse on yourself. Everyone else, you know, has got plenty of health left, so I'm, I'm okay with them, you know, just doing whatever. Um, nothing. Ice bullet. Yeah. Well, that was an easy way to get some painkillers. Strength and learned, huh? Well, no. Keep forgetting to press the button. Button, button, who's got the button, you know? Keep wanting to move to the lower buttons, but it's not what I'm looking for. A hundred? Eh, that's too time consuming. Let's see, where was that hut at? So I know there was another hut. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's still a chest over here? How do I get to that? Huh. Well, there's gotta be options. I love how we just jumped into that and caused the game to freak out. I think I just found a game-breaking bug. Great, and I hadn't saved yet. Uh <sighs> Well, that's nice. <laughs> it's 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 impressive, I suppose. Cuz this is supposed to be the bug fixed version. Oh yeah. I always ask me to come in and show that your game's broken, I guess, cuz I'll find something if I try hard enough. Or sometimes when I don't try at all and I'm just goofing off. Well, that's for this game for now. I'm gonna have to come back and re-grind out my levels and, you know, save, you know, a couple every now and again to make sure, you know, I don't lose anything, apparently. Hopefully there's menu saves. <laughs> Damn. I, I didn't think I'd manage to crash the game by jumping into that thing. Well, whatever. Till next time, then. See ya.